with CubView. It is easy to create groups for your class, activity, or club. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create a group. From your profile page, select Groups from the left-hand navigation. A page with all your current group memberships will appear. Also, a link will show up just below the groups, Create a Group. Select that. CubView will prompt you for information about your new group. I'm going to create a group for AP Biology. So first, let's give it a picture. Icon images are an important part of navigation in CubView. Using the selector, I'll upload an image for my group. Next, let's type in a name. Academic groups should use titles that mirror your class name. If you want to enter your class ID, you may, but it's not required. Next, select the school year. In the description field, tell students about your group. This is a good place to establish the parameters, expectations, meeting times, and contact information for your class. The brief description field is used in summaries. I'll just copy and paste the first sentence from my long description. In CubView, you can have either an open or a closed group. Open groups allow anyone to join and see what you're doing. With a closed group, you must manage who joins. There's no right way to do it. For example, I keep an open enrollment period where I allow people to join, then eventually close the group after a certain date. You can enable any combination of group modules you wish. By default, an academic group comes with most of the items you want turned on. If you're not sure, just go ahead and skip these. But if you want more granule control, you can use it here. That's it. Let's click Save and look at our biology group. I'm taken straight away to the activity page. My group is created and the first action shown is that I created it. Clicking on About, I can see the description. I think I'll type a note to let everyone know we're here. And that's how you create a group.